take a moment and silently say your name to yourself. You hear that voice in your head? It sounds like you. It feels like you. It has your tone and timbre. It feels like it's been there forever. Well, now just wait for the next thought to appear in your mind. It's going to be your own internal voice saying something like, when this is over, I want a cheeseburger. Don't get involved in the content of the thought. You are going to become the observer. So just take a step back and just notice that the voice in your head is speaking words. So what happens to the voice in your head when you try to observe it? It stops. It disappears. It goes silent. Not a stillness. Nothing. No matter how hard you try, you will discover that you cannot talk in your head and self-observe at the same time. So let's see what your brain just did. Now inside the brain is a set of primitive structures called the limbic system. L-I-M-B-I-C. Fight or flight, anger, fear. It's the part of the brain we share with other animals, so it's all about survival. And all emotions come from the limbic system. I call it the monkey brain, and it's completely wired up by the time you're five years of age. So it's like a hurt, fearful, angry little five-year-old in your head. Now, in the front of the brain is the adult brain called the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex doesn't start dramatic development until we're five to seven, and it doesn't finish development until we're 20 to 30. In that part of the brain, we get insight, we look at a situation, and we get perspective. And it's also where we have inhibitions. It's like the traffic cop for the rest of the brain. Now, the voice in your head that sounds like you talking to you is a result of a collaboration between these two parts of the brain. Now, this is really not good news because it means the monkey brain is pretty much in charge of the voice in your head. Now, remember, the exercise was to observe, and there's the observer right there in the PFC, and we're trying to observe the voice in our head. Well, what happens is that part of the brain can't do two things at once, so this connection's broken, and the voice in your head goes quiet. Now, I can't hear your voice, and you can't hear my voice, but we all give this voice the same label. Do you know what we call it? We call it me. And I'm telling you, the voice in your head that sounds like you talking to you is not you. For more information and an in-depth look into this, take a look at my book, Mastering Thought Before It Masters You.